So when did the religious order Franciscan start? So it started in the early 13th century and was founded by St. Francis of Assisi. It was probably um, in 2007 that St. Francis felt the call to a life of preaching, finance and thought on property. He was soon joined by his poorest followers to whom he gave a short and simple life. He and the 11 of his followers journeyed to Rome where Francis received an approval of his rule from Pope Innocent III. Under this rule, Francisian friars could own no possession of any kind either individually or community material possessions. The friars wandered and preachers among the people, helping the poor people and the sick. They supported themselves by working and providing by food. But they were also forbidden to accept any forms of money or payment for any work or hours. The Persician worked at first in Lopia and then in the rest of Italy and abroad. The impact of the street features, especially of their founders, was immense, so that within 10 years they numbered up to 5,000. The Franciscans actually consists of three orders. The first order comprises priests and lay brothers who have sworn to lead a life of prayer, preaching, and penance. This first order is divided into three independent branches. The Frias Minor or the OFM, the Frias Minor Conventual or the OFM Conventional, and the Frias Minor Capuchin or OFM Cap. The second order consists of cloister nuns who belong to the Order of St. Clair or the OSC and are known as Poor Clairs. The third order consists of religious and laymen and women who try to emulate St. Francis's spirit by performing works of teaching, charity, and social service. Hey, what's up? I'm Aldrich Kawili and I'm here to tell you about the spread of spirituality for the Franciscan. And here's how and when and where. The latter part of the 14th century saw a great decline in the religious life of the friars. But throughout the century, a series of reformers initiated group of friars known as observants, living an austere life apart from the main body of coffin trolls under the leadership of St. Bernardino of Siena and St. John of Capistrano, the observants spread across Europe. It was several attempts were made to reconcile them with the conventuals. The outcome was the result of complete separation in 1517 when all the reformed communities were united in one order with the name Friars Minor of the Observants. With this order was granted a completely independent and autonomous existence. It is estimated that in 1570, the observants numbered about 30,000, the conventuals about 35,000. The union of the observants was short-lived as several stricter groups arose. One of the reform groups, the Capuchins, founded in 1525, was separated as a third branch of the First Franciscan Order in 1690. The other groups were finally reunited to the observant by Pope Leo in 1897, with new constitutions and the official title Order of the Friars Minor. All three branches of the Franciscan suffered in the French Revolution, but they revived during the 19th century. And that's how they spread this branch. I'm gonna talk about the Franciscan beliefs. Basically, Franciscan beliefs are based on the teachings of St. Francis of Assisi, in which their goal is to prevent poverty. To do that, they manage to do some charity works or some preaching to the people who are really in need. Uh, uh, that's why they managed to create uh, three orders for that goal to achieve.
So what are the holy days or important feast days in Franciscan uh, history or Franciscan life? So January 30, uh, 3, the holy name of Jesus. The 15th century Franciscan Saint Bernardine of Siena actively promoted the devotion of the holy name of Jesus. Yeah. So next is January 16, Saint Bernard and his companions. So Saint Bernard, Peter, Acrucius, Justus, and Otto, the first martyrs or the proto-martyrs of the Franciscan order. Yes. Next is June 13, Feast of Saint Anthony of Padua. Saint Anthony of Padua was, was born in 1195 in Lisbon, Portugal and died in Padua, Italy. He was known for his forceful preaching and expert knowledge of scripture. So, yeah. so next is August 11, Saint Feast of Saint Clare of Assisi. So Saint Clare of Assisi was one of the first followers of Saint Francis of Assisi. So it's important to celebrate her feast day too. On October 4 is the Saint Francis of Assisi. So, yes, we know that. So on October 4, the church celebrated the, the feast of Saint Francis. Uh, I'm not so sure about the main issue of the religion itself, other than people disagreeing with the religious practices. But I found out from Google that there are reports from the Catholic school called the uh, Franciscan University of Steubenville, where there are female students who are sexually abused by professors. The officials of the university had addressed this issue and, and said that they would take notice and um, they would revise their regulations and rules, but um, at least they're trying to fix these claims and um, they, would, they are trying to be a good example of a, a Catholic university who, who tries to remind students to do things godly and good. Um, in my opinion, I hope that um, they won't cause any more trouble. Uh, otherwise, if they do cause a lot of trouble, then I'm gonna start questioning about their religious beliefs. For the last question, we were asked where Franciscan is located today, and we thought that the question was too broad, so we thought of ways to find Franciscan, and I actually found a university that was named Franciscan University of Steubenville. It is a private Catholic school which is located at Steubenville, Ohio. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, hope you, hope you like this video, and subscribe for more!